Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial and Midnight. My name is Heath and it's time for another What's in the Box. This box comes courtesy of Lee, who has already been the feature of a What's in the Box video when he sent uh, this, The Avengers Season 3, aka De Wreckers. I know this was... I made that mistake when I unboxed this in the, the previous video as I was paying more attention to the fact that it's the Avengers uh, Series 3 and not enough attention to the fact that it's uh, written in another language. I guess this is the German or Polish title. Der Wreckers was one of the Avengers uh, pseudonyms, one of its names for other markets. Uh, but Lee is also a Patreon of Serial at Midnight at the highest level and uh, he has been so good to Serial at Midnight. And so before I even open this box, Lee, thank you, man. I appreciate everything that you've done to support this channel and to support me. Uh, and I know a little bit of what's in this box, uh, a little bit. And I know that there's some something that's out of print, at least one thing that's out of print, and something that you guys are going to be very excited about, some Jalo. Uh, on that note, I will be opening it with my Jalo. Ja Do we say Jalo? Giallo. Uh, with my Jalo, Jalo. <laughs> with my Jalo knife. This could be a Rambo knife. This could be any other knife I want it to be, but for this video, it's an Italian horror Jalo knife. So I'm gonna get to cutting and uh, we will see what's in the box. Okay, I have the box open and we're just gonna pull. It looks like this is the bottom. We'll just pull from the bottom and see what we've got. Holy crap, you guys. This is the Fearless Vampire, was it Killers? Yes. or. The Fearless Vampire Killers, or pardon me, but your teeth are in my neck. This is a movie that I've been wanting to see for a while. It popped up uh, in one of the special... Where did it... I don't remember what movie it was, but Kim Newman. You guys know I'm big on Kim Newman. Uh, he's a British... Uh, I don't know that critic is the right word. He's a horror enthusiast, genre film enthusiast, because he's also into westerns and sci-fi and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he had a talking head segment on one of the, maybe it was one of the Arrow films. I don't remember, uh, but he references, uh, this movie. And I remember looking it up and being like, oh, that looks awesome. Uh, but for some reason it seemed out of reach for, I don't remember exactly why it was either out of print or it was more than I was, could pay at the time. But this is a spoof. This is a sixties, uh, horror movie spoof that was co-written and, uh, was it directed by, Yes, Roman Polanski. Here, I'll read the back of the box to you guys. It says, director slash co-writer Roman Polanski of Rosemary's Baby and Chinatown fame spoofs vampire movies with this droll balancing act of shocks and laughs. He also portrays Alfred, mousy apprentice to a doddering researcher of vampirism, Jack McGowan, and the love-struck defender of gorgeous Sarah, Sharon Tate. Sharon Tate, you guys? Uh, when the Count, Ferdy Main, tries to make her the ghoul of his dreams. It's all fantastic fun. So this is a 1966 uh, Warner, Warner Brothers distributed horror spoof directed by Roman Polanski and starring Sharon Tate. That is amazing. Lee, brother. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Uh, we have more to get through. Um... Oh my goodness, you guys. Valley of the Dolls. This is more Sharon Tate. This is a cult 60s movie. Who all is in this? Patty Duke, Lee Grant, Susan Hayward, and Sharon Tate. Barbara Perkins. You guys, this is absolutely classic. 1967. Check out the pink, the pink case on this. This is stunning. This is a, this appears to be a two disc special edition. There's a copy of 13 chairs in here as well. Lee, do you need that back? <laughs> do you want that? Um, there's, so we've got, it's a two disc set, disc one, disc, disc two, and then there's lobby cards and a booklet. Holy cow, you guys, let's check out the lobby cards. Lobby card one. Ooh la la, lobby card two. Lobby card three. I think this is the last one. Yes. Lobby card four. <sighs> I don't even feel like I, like I, this is too much. Lee, this is too much, man. Thank you. I, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a copy of the out of print Matt Helm Lounge featuring all of the Matt Helm movies Starring Dean Martin uh, and Margaret's in one of these. It's The Silencers, Murderer's Row, The Ambushers, and The Wrecking Crew. Now, these four movies uh, are based on the Donald Hamilton 
uh, Matt Helm novels, which are very straight. They're not comedies, but obviously this is a swinging 60s take on these. A little bit of James Bond, a little bit of that In Like Flint uh, uh, style. Uh, this is this is out of print. And, and he told me, so full disclosure, he did tell me he was going to send me this. And I was like, that's worth money. You should sell it. And he said, I want you to have it. Um, and he sent it to me. I'll show you guys. I'm seriously overwhelmed, you guys. Um, so here's the first disc. And here's the second. I wonder if these each get their own disc or if it's two movies on one disc. Oh, you, they each get their own DVD. Check out the the psychedelic, uh, the 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 print on the disc. I am so unbelievably overwhelmed by this. Okay, there's more. There's actually more. Holy cow! The Bird with the Crystal Plumage Blu-ray. Dario Argento's Bird with the Crystal Plumage from Blue Underground HD. Oh my goodness, audio commentary by Alan Jones and Kim Newman. What in the world? <sighs> Out of the Shadows interview with co-writer and director Dario Argento. Uh, the Music of Murder. Uh, interview with the composer Ennio Morricone. What? Painting with Darkness. Interview with cinematographer Vittorio Storaro. Uh, and Eva's Talking. Interview with actress Eva Renzi. <sighs> And there's more. I, I, the Stendhal Syndrome, Dario Argento directing Aja Argento. Oh my goodness, you guys. Another Blue Underground. Uh, I really like Blue Underground. Um, I'll have to do a spotlight on Blue Underground at some point. This has a uh, uh, spotlight on director Dario Argento, inspiration, uh, special effects, assistant director interview. Oh man. You know, I'm just going to let you guys get a closer look at the cover there, because I know some of you Jalo fans will really appreciate that. What if this was just the thumbnail? It's just a, a super close-up. YouTube would probably not let me make that the thumbnail. I've had several videos that I put up, and then, like, they don't go live, and I'm like, why? And I think maybe it's the thumbnail? I'm not sure. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails, Dario Argento. You guys, this is incredible. Another Blue Underground release. Uh, Carl Malden is in this. James Franciscus from Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Originally released in 1971, The Cat of Nine Tails secured interna the international reputation of Dario Argento as the Italian Hitchcock. Um, interesting to note, you guys know that I've been on this whole peplum thing where I've been tracing the roots of these Italian directors beyond... Like, the, like Argento goes back to Spaghetti Westerns. Uh, some of these guys go back to that peplum thing. It's all connected. So if you're a cinema fan and you like this kind of stuff... It's always so interesting to me to trace their where they got started, what they cut their teeth on. So for me, this is just another piece of the puzzle. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not have... Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never seen a Dario Argento movie. Uh, I Listen, stop it. Stop it. Get your fingers off that keyboard. I've seen a lot of other things. I've seen a lot of spaghetti westerns. I've seen a lot of peplum. I've seen a lot of the other Italian, European movies. Dario, I've seen a lot of uh, Giallo. Uh, Fulci stuff, but when it comes to Argento, I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. And this, it's like, it's like Lee knew that, and he was like, "I'm gonna hook you up," and he did. Wow. Last in the box, you guys, is Suspiria, the famous, infamous uh, is Suspiria, like the pinnacle. The would we call Suspiria to be his, uh, his masterpiece? You guys tell me. Um, and this appears to be. Is this an international edition? I don't know. Uh, it's all in Italian. So that is incredible. Um, there are, uh, this is uh, Argento Racconta Suspiria. I don't speak Italian, so I don't know what that means. But this is very, very beautiful from Videa Video. So guys, let's just review. We have four Dario Argento movies. We have... Six of the 60s most fun and best. I don't know if Valley of the Dolls will say it's fun. Six of the 60s uh, finest, craziest offerings. Lee, dude, 
dude. <laughs> um, thank you. Now, Lee told me some of this stuff was coming. I did not think all of this was coming. He told me some of this was coming, and I was like, no, I don't think you should do that. I think you should either hang on to them, sell them, do something else with them. I think he upgraded to 4K on some of these. Uh, but he said, and hopefully he's okay with me saying this, he said he kind of sees my collection as a preservation of these things. Uh, he's not the first person to say that, to tell me that my collection is like a, like a library of pop culture, of movies and cinema and TV shows. Uh, and so to be able to uh, accept something like this for preservation's sake um, is humbling for me. It's very cool for me. But this is, I mean, seriously, this is, it's going gonna, I, I, gonna to gonna take a while before I can wrap my head around all of this. Uh, Lee, thank you, man. Thank you so much. That is, is so generous. Very incredible. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. So I'm just going to thank Lee again. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, which Argento movie should I start with first? Suspiria? Do I save Suspiria for last? You guys let me know. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for talking some giallo, some Italian movies, some 60s awesomeness. Uh, so until next time, I appreciate you guys. And I will catch you later.